Hey, welcome to Color Up, day 185 of my 900 day journey. It's been a while since I played. It's Easter weekend. I just haven't played in a while. I'm tired, uh, so I probably shouldn't be playing, but I, I do want to get in there and mix it up a little bit, so we'll see how it goes. I'm in the big blind with a pair of fours. Under the gun has a $5 straddle, and he gets three calls. $3 more, and I'll sneak into this hand. Oops, the straddle now raises it to $20. As I'll find out, this is the aggressive player for the night and he just happens to be on my left. All three call again. I'm not sure my fours play all that well going five ways, but maybe this is actually the time to set mine. I just let it go. $20 or 10% of my stack to set mine? I don't know, just let me know what I should do here. This hand I have sixes in middle position. There is a limp and I make it $10. Five players head to the flop. Ouch. Opening raise might need to be a tad bigger tonight. 10 queen king, three over cards, players behind me, uh, I just check. Billy, tonight's aggressor, makes it $30 and takes down the pot. Ace queen of spades, it limps to me and I bump it up to $12. Billy makes it 40 and it folds back around to me. I'll go heads up with this hand. Flop comes 293 with two hearts. Dang, I whiffed. Three to the straight, I guess, but I'm not going to bluff continue bet here after he three bet me. I check, he makes it 35. I might very well still be ahead here, but this is not the spot to get it in. I've got kings under the gun. Let's make it a little bigger and go with 15. Of course, Billy comes along. He's in basically every hand. Flop is 373 rainbow. I go with $25, might be a tad big. I really want him to call. He re-raises to $75. He could have anything, but most likely just trying to bully me once again. I'm not giving up these cards. I might as well get it all in now. It's $51 more for him to call. He thinks for quite a while, but decides to make the call. We flip them over and he has ace two. Board runs out 10-4. He tried to bluff me with that $75 re-raise and got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. I think this is the way with aggressive players. Just be patient and wait till you have a hand. Ace King offsuit in the cutoff. I open it to $11. Button calls in small blind minimum raises to 22. I call and we go three to the flop. Two, three, three rainbow. The blind now goes all in for 108. What do you think? Pocket pair? I think so. I gotta say goodbye to this hand. In the small blind with ace 10 suited, there are three limps, then button goes all in for a small amount. I think it's about $45. I like this hand, but with so many players left behind to act and likely to call this small all in, I just get out. Unfortunately, everyone folds. Dang. I would have loved to play this one out. All right, so I played for a few hours. I really didn't get any cards. Let me rephrase that. So I got cards, but they were in early position, so I'd open it up, I'd miss the flop, and then it really wasn't worth continuing. Um, I got involved with one hand, so shout out to Billy. Uh, he was, he kind of recognized the table was tight, and so he played very aggressive, which was smart of him. And uh, he did well, taking advantage of that. Um, I wish I could have played more, but I really, you know, I don't know, even know how many hands I just recapped with you. Probably not that much, not a very interesting vlog. So he's in for 200 and out for 230, I guess they say a win's a win. But um, just starting to drag and get tired and um, with Billy right to my neck, to my left, it was uh, tough to you know, get involved in more than I did. So I was just trying to be patient, wait for hands and I was just losing my patience. So I figured I had better bounce. And uh, did I already meant, so in for two, yeah, out for 230. And uh, yeah, that's the recap and maybe I'll play again this weekend. So we'll see.